Hi, I'm Mark Peel. Today, tuna noodle casserole. Not your grandmother's, mine. Now this dish has been beaten and abused for so many years, but it is really, really good if you make it right. And we're gonna make it right. We start with butter and flour. And this is one of the few times where you really have to measure it out. If you don't measure it out, it's gonna be the wrong thickness. We're gonna put in a little bit of garlic. The onion goes right in there. This recipe is coming from my new cookbook, New Classic Family Dinners. A little bit of dried red chili. You don't have to chop it up. Just put it in there, it'll stew away. It's now time for the milk. We're gonna whisk this, we'll let it come to a boil. It'll thicken, 10 minutes later, it'll be done. Here's our tuna, a delicious oil-packed tuna. Recommend that. Much more flavorful than the water pack. Here's our Gruyere. Again, dump it right in. This is the oil from the tuna can. Just fold some of it in. You can use a lot of different noodles, a lot of different pastas. Elbow macaroni is traditional. I also like penne. Now this we've undercooked a little bit because it's gonna cook a little bit more when it bakes. This is a phenomenal family dish. See, look at the amount we're making here. It's too much for a family of four, but that's the point, remember? Leftovers. Now we have our breadcrumbs. Don't be cheap with the breadcrumbs. We're gonna cover it with foil, why? because breadcrumbs will burn in the amount of time that it takes to cook. We'll uncover it for the last 10 minutes. Okay, here's our tuna noodle casserole. Nice and hot out of the oven. Look, crispy around the edges, crispy on top, juicy in the center. You should try this. And when you do, let me know. Get more recipes at goodbite.com.